สวัสดีครับผู้บัญชาการทุกท่าน Greetings every commander Today I'll be here again with Nikkei Goddess of Victory Let's ride go ride Goddess of Victory Nikkei So without further ado, we can see that I have Guillotine right here in the middle of the screen in my lobby screen. Of course, in the upcoming patch, and it's going to be online. Uh, it is scheduled to be updated within later today. He's going to be received on buff. But before that, let us go and see what our main focus for this date is going to be. Which is the summer event. All right, so we go straight right into Goddess of Victory Nike for in the global page. All right, so we have our own our, our own favorite Mary. Do you remember this, right? I I just need to watch it again. So just be sure. Just a little slow step. Let the time pass away. Let the time pass away. Okay, that that was perfect. All right, so we have, oh, and and also uh, a co-op battle of Stormbringer is coming right up. It's gonna be a doozy one if you want to reach for the top one hundred or top. Of one percent, ten percent, or whatever for the higher price. Uh, there's some, go. and also, intern could have this mistranslation again. For as you can see, check out Mary Skill, and we apologize for numerous updates. So, uh, I already, if you're gonna see this, this is for Mary's update. Uh. Let's get out of Neon and go back to Mary. So this is the first ever, this is the first release. It says for first skill, it affects only herself. And then the next update, it affects all allies. But the, as you can see, her the part of her burst that it says, recover 27% of the caster's max, uh, final max HP. And then it's still the same. For the previous update, and the last change, they changed it to all the way to uh, affect all allies. Max HP increases by twenty percent of the caster. So this is the final. Hopefully, it is the final uh, version for any mistranslation at all. And also, and uh, like just now we saw. <laughs> just now we saw. The neon. Let's let's have a look at neon. Uh, our new SR SSR new skin. So we have Mary. So we not. So we have Mary. Oh, let's. Okay. So I'll be talking about the character balance and skill fixes right after we have a look at neon. The ocean. Okay. So this. Uh, remember, it's a uh, point of view from the global. Uh, global. Official re release review. The ocean, I gotta switch up my attribute. <sighs> All done. I like how she wings. Flashing everyone with water. And it says introduction. Her burst skill allows her to continuously launch powerful bullets at multiple enemies. She can also increase her code damage, that means elemental damage, and deal additional damage to fire code enemies. Unleashes more power in the presence of fire code enemies. She's going to be a little bit niche, 
So let's have a dive into her skills. So she's basically um, a machine gun with a burst that change her attacks. She's attacker type. She use she's a burst skill burst skill three water code. And what does her first skill do? So that's here. First skills it activates when she, uh, when using her burst skill. So you need to be a, you need to use her own burst skill. I mean, using burst skill it affects self. Okay, so affects according to the number of activation times. And so when if you activate her her burst skill once, it so it it's a stacking for the third time you use. It's gonna be like what 36, 37 percent hard damage, which is gonna be strong for bosses with multiple parts. And activate when entering first stage three. This is quite new for, from what I'm understanding is that if you use if you're using a burst skill one, it gets you to stage two. And when you when when you press a burst three skill, it turns you to full burst. But so Entering burst burst stage three, that means you just need to use burst two, right? Well, this needs some testing because they are uh, quite vague with the translation. I'm not truly an understanding it myself. And for burst, uh, since she's a burst skill three, she, her burst is a 40 second burst and it affects self. She transform her weapon into something else. And, it, and she's gonna be dealing 11% her final damage for seven seconds. We don't know her fire rate yet. And it deals a lot. So it deals twice damage against fire code. She might be nice. I think she'll be nice. She should be nice, shouldn't she? <laughs> okay. Let, let's have a look at uh, the. What about the Japanese release? It's going to be the same. It should be the same, right? <laughs> Then you just like how she opens the water bottle with one hand. Just splashing everyone with water. Eh? That is good. That is good for <laughs> for a summer theme holiday. And let's have a quick dive. See what did, see what I did there. The Korean version. <laughs> I think she sounds really cute in Korean, but that's just me. <laughs> All right, so that would be Neon and her skill. And after that, as I promised, I'll be talking about the skill balance and, and skill fixes coming up in the next update, which will be featuring our beloved guillotine. See? Our beloved. I see you, my heart starts to race. Same. Perhaps I need to see a doctor. I can be a doctor. <laughs> so it's going to be featuring our beloved guillotine. All right, so um, let's dive into it again. Okay, so EK English. Let's go into this page. Um, so greetings, Commander. We are going blah 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 blah. Good goodness, skip. So at, so uh, number two right here. Add a description term for some skills. Some skills should be activated when attacks are launched and only activated when 
that are hit that are land. Mm, doesn't change much, but could be. Basically, you just need to shoot. You don't need to land your attack. You can be you can be hitting a tree. You can be hitting a building. You can be hitting something. You can you can be missing, and you will still get the effect. Um, and uh, sin. I don't know. I don't have sin yet, so I can't really tell the her buff being categorized and applied as a debuff instead of a buff, which means this buff or debuff would have something going on if you, you if you decide to use coco with her which removes some buffs and also here look at this uh adjusted guillotine skills values for her number mm, let, let's let's see guillotine as she is right now shall we i'll be looking at in wikipedia so we can see her skills at level 10 where is our guillotine? Where is our guillotine? Guillotine. First three guillotine. Right. Once I was trapped in the prison they call loneliness. But after being. I'm sorry, I had to cut you off, guillotine. <laughs> All right, let's look at her skills. So, uh, look at her number one. Residual heat. Back cell. Activates after landing a hundred. Normal attacks increases crit rate by 9% for 10 seconds and reduces HP by 2%. Uh, it's gonna be not that useful as of now. And for the second skill, Shroud of Darkness. Effect self, after landing 150 normal attacks, increases crit damage. So this synergizes with her skill 1 where it increases her crit rate. This one increases your crit damage. And also here, effect cell. Mm, activate when HP falls below 70%, which increases 0.2% of every 1% HP loss. This almost sounds good on paper, but when you think about it, you'll be getting at most around what 14% attack damage, which is kind of... Uh, kind of... Mm, not nice if you're gonna compare this with like for the likes of a Ruby where she gets 5% or 6% just by normal attacking or even Scarlet where she gets 20 but she's a pilgrim <laughs> yeah and uh, her dragon of the deep I mean it, it, it's good it does a lot of damage but the point is that you need to be below 50% HP and that doesn't really work in the game it's either you stay full health, or you're just getting one shot by everything by end game content where the, where the rapture is just one shot you right away. Mm, so what is she will be? Uh, what is she receiving? Okay, so adjust. So number four right here. There we adjusting guillotine skill value. From number one, so residual heat from 100 normal attacks to 30 attacks, so it will trigger a lot more often. Her health will go down faster. And for this part, I the second one increases crit damage of skill to malice from 14.46 to 14.69. Uh, increasing by 0.23. Are you serious? Shift up. And for this one, this is the spicy part. Raise the attack of attack according to HP loss from 0.2% to 0.96, which is going to be a lot of damage increase. That's like four, almost more than four times what it is right now. And that would maybe make Yatine much, much more powerful in KDP. Well, just we need you and me. She used to be, she was actually one of my favorite Nikkei when I was just starting the game. Whenever I see you, my heart starts to race. Perhaps I need to see a doctor. I can't tell if she's just short or the angle is from a top 
bottom down angle so she looks like smaller compared to other Nikkei's. And what else? So they finally be so they are finally fixing the taunt for number five. They're fixing the taunt and attract of Nikkei's just right after Solar Ray. Come on, girl. And the rest is like what? So they'll be fixing some decoys and they'll be fixing some skills that are activated when attacks are launched instead of attacks are land. So that is still a little bit of something. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think? Do you think our lovely guillotine is going to be useful or is she just gonna be put back on the back burner and just sit there while we are still enjoying our meta unit what mm. i believe that shift up is heading in the right direction slowly but they could use a bit more anyway <laughs> before i go i just want to show you my final solar ray results so it's gonna finish in five minutes but my final my final ranking is for like what 151 I, I tried it took me like four or five hours and I couldn't really get much done but I'll take it I'll take the the tier three I'll take it I'll take I'll, I'll take 270 gems all right so thank you very much for watching <laughs> see you in the next video commander once, I was trapped in the prison they call loneliness. But after being with you, I have freed myself from those fetters.